What is up my beautiful YouTube family? I am back with a brand new YouTube video for you guys today and today I'm so excited because I am reviewing the new Vitality Atmos drop. We are talking the new prints, the new volley shorts compared to the old rider shorts and the old Atmos shorts. I have all of the tea on how I like everything so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts Settle in, grab a snack, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get into the video. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I have been a fan of Balance Athletica. Now they are Vitality. Specifically, my favorite collection from Balance was always the Atmos collection, and I just love tie-dye, I guess. Like, I literally think I have every tie-dye colorway they've ever come out with because I just love tie-dye. They recently announced that they were coming out with two new colorways. The first colorway is Tropical Storm, which I'm wearing right now, and Monsoon, which is this blue colorway. Now, since moving to Idaho, it is so freaking hot here, and I have been needing to wear shorts. So, Pretty much all summer, if I'm buying activewear, it's going to be shorts. These shorts, you guys, sold out in two minutes during the early access, which is crazy. Vitality actually hasn't been selling out of things like right away. Like some items will sell out, but a lot of the times there's plenty of stock to go back and shop and whatnot. But these volley shorts sold out in literally every size, every color in under like five minutes. I got them for you so we can talk about and compare to some old balance pieces before they were Vitality and just talk about everything. Let's start off with the set I'm wearing right now. I am wearing the Ignite Bra in a size small D plus. So this is the longer coverage version and this is a size small. I typically gravitate towards the size medium, but this color sold out of my cart. I don't know the last time that's happened to me, but yeah, this size medium sold out of my cart real quick. So I picked up the size small and then these are the shorts, the volley shorts in Tropical Storm. Now, initially when I saw these out of the bag, I wasn't a huge fan of just this yellow leg. Like that's my biggest complaint or critique with the Vitality tie-dyes, like they are so beautiful, but like it can be really hard to get your hands on a dye that you like because there's such a wide variety of the way the dye is gonna look, which is really cool that it's gonna be completely unique to you. But if you don't like it and they're sold out, you're kind of out of luck. And it doesn't always look like what the website looks like, which is the biggest downfall of the tie-dye pieces. So yeah, when I saw the shorts, I really wanted more of the green on the front. Like as you can see, the green is really in the back and even on the back of the bra, it's really saturated with these pretty colors and I just don't get that as much on the front. However, I've been wearing this set more and I kind of like it and I find that this bra, like if it had the green on it or looked like this in the front, which would be awesome, it just wouldn't match as well. Like for some reason, like this bra just really goes well with these shorts, like these particular dye pattern shorts and I'm kind of liking it. Like it's really unique and different. I know some people are gonna hate it. Like this pattern was very polarizing. A lot of people didn't like it, which I totally understand. I wanted to see it in person and I just, I don't know, I really like it. I do love how the back looks. The back is so pretty. This and then this, so pretty, but I still really like this. So why the volley shorts sold out in literally two minutes was because they basically were talking about how they perfected their workout short and volley shorts have a unique grading system where they, as they increase in size, they also increase in length. So the size small, short volley short is not gonna be the same length as the large volley short and that's taking into consideration the different body sizes. So 
I pulled out my size medium rider shorts from last summer in Avalanche. I have them and then I also have them in Thunderstorm. And I pulled these out to lay the volley shorts on top of to show you guys. I'm going to insert that clip here. Okay guys, so I just got my order from the Vitality Atmos relaunch and I wanted to go over some up close just details and initial thoughts. So I haven't tried anything on yet, but let's start with the thunderstorm avalanche section over here because I did have these thunderstorm shorts. These are the riders from last summer and I got the new volley shorts in thunderstorm to compare. I wanted to feel the fabric differences and to compare the new to the old. So as you can see, I put the volley shorts over the riders and they are tapered, the new shorts. So like I said, I haven't tried these on yet. So I'm curious to see how they'll fit. Honestly, the length looks extremely similar in my opinion. And the gusset is actually different. So this has like a long gusset across the whole short. And then these have the little triangle gusset. I'm not sure what I like better, but I honestly just wanted to try the volleys and see if I got a better dye pattern that I liked. I don't really like this dye pattern because there's just so much white um, and there's this black splotch in the front. This is the back. It just has the triangle, which I do like better. And I did get some more dye on the back. This one has balance on the back. And another thing I just noticed as I was looking at this, it has more of like a V triangle dip in the front. I think I'm just gonna go with keeping these and returning these because I just don't really love the pattern. But again, I haven't tried it on, so we'll see. And then I got the matching bra, which ugh, I don't know. I wanna love it because I just love Thunderstorm. Like I'm obsessed with this tie-dye, but um, initially I just don't like that they're separated the colors. It has a little bit too much white on it, but I haven't tried it on yet. Um, I do love the back. Like the back is so cute just cause it has more dye, but I don't know. We'll see when I try it on. I got these both in a medium D plus, so they're the longer line. And then these are the old Avalanche shorts that I have from last summer. They have the balance on the back. Again, I wanted to see if I got like a different or better dye pattern. It does look a little bit more high rise and I do like the taper and I actually do like this dye pattern a lot. So yeah, they do really look very similar in length. It's really the biggest difference is the taper. Monsoon volley shorts. I don't know if I'm feeling the circle splotch here right in the crotch. I don't know how that's gonna look. Um, there is a lot of dye on this one, which I really like. And I really do like the purple dyes mixed in. I almost do wish this had a little bit more white in it on the front and then the back. I really love the dye pattern of the back. So we'll see how that looks on. And this is the Tropical Storm. This is a new one. I wasn't sure how I felt about this set um, from pictures, but I wanted to try it and see how it looked on me before making a decision. I'm a little bummed that this side is completely yellow. Like I just, I feel like this happens to me every time is where I get like one leg that's one color, but I really like the dye on the bra. I think it looks really cool. I like that the straps are like the pink color. Um, this is the back of mine. Like the slightest, slightest difference. They're a little bit shorter than the old riders I have, which I don't mind because the riders were my personal favorite. I never really wore the cloud shorts because they were too short. There is a good amount of coverage on my butt here. It goes 
fully down like these are not going to ride up at all now i will say i am curious how the new biker short length compares to the rider shorts so i wanted to get this video up for you guys right away so i don't have those in hand yet but i did order some biker shorts to compare to the rider shorts so i can let you guys know how much longer the new biker shorts are in comparison to the riders and I did that because I really wanted to compare the dyes and see which ones I like the best because I'm just being really particular about my dye patterns but let's talk about the fabric because this was the biggest disappointment when these came out and surprise with this new launch these are the thunderstorm volleys that I ordered this time around this new one is a very slick and I like to compare it to a nylon like tight but a little bit thicker and this is actually reminiscent of the very first ever launch of Atmos and that is so exciting to me because when these came out last summer they were a completely different feel like I knew right away when I took these out of the bag that they had a more thick and cottony feel as opposed to the leggings because I loved the first round of Atmos leggings. Those were like my favorite leggings ever. They are so stretchy and soft and like yeah the best way I can describe it is like a nylon pantyhose type feel like they're just so stretchy like they look amazing on your butt they just form to your curves they don't move when you work out and these are that fabric again which is so exciting so i was really impressed that the fabric went back to the old cloud fabric that i just loved and another difference here is you're gonna see a longer front with more of a point triangle point and um i also noticed when i saw it, put these side by side that the glute contour is deeper and this whole like area of fabric is just thicker so now that we've talked a little bit about the volley short i think that these are true to size i think they fit me honestly just like any other balanced bottom of fabric or short that i've tried i'm literally always a medium and these are a size medium I think they're perfectly fine. The waist taper is fine. It doesn't feel like it's squeezing. I actually think it kind of adds a little bit of an hourglass shape to me. And then I actually like that they did lower the front because I feel like it is now going under my fupa more and just flattering my lower stomach as opposed to before it was a little higher and I feel like these just fit me a little bit better. So if I were to decide between the old rider shorts and the new i do like these volleys i think these are a really nice length of short on me i'm 5 8 and literally all legs so i really do like the length of these so there have been a lot of changes but i think they have been good changes and i hope that they just stick with this specific design because it can be frustrating as a customer when you think that you're buying one cloud pant and then it changes between launches like if there's so many different changes constantly happening like you never know what size to get or how it's gonna fit you so I think these are like perfect a plus like they finally got the fit and the feel right so I hope they just stick with this so let's talk about the bra this is the ignite bra D plus coverage in a size small so I technically sized down I have a couple other ones in a size small and they're fine. They do stretch out a little bit. So I already knew it would be okay, but there is a seam here around your rib cage that I really like this band because it really like holds my chest here. As you can see, it's pretty booby on me. Like my boobs are definitely popping out a little bit up here. I don't mind because I work out from home, so nobody's ever seeing me, but it is mid to low support. Um, you can use the adjustable straps, which I actually think I need to do. See if this makes it a little better. I just love like the bandeau look and I do find it flattering on my chest and yeah, so that's even more supportive and I honestly could do hit cardio in this and be 
totally fine. Yeah, no, tightening the straps is key to make sure you're getting enough support. Um, if you did want more coverage, just up here, this might not be the bra for you because they do just pop out a tiny bit. But like I said, I don't mind it. Um, it is a tight around the rib cage. So keep that in mind just when you are shopping. This is the longer line bra, which I do prefer, I think. I have one that's A to C and it's just a shorter line bra. So it looks more like this. and it's not like a tank. You can always put the longer one under to make it a little short if you wanted to just get one, have a couple different ways to wear it. But I just really love this bra. It's very comfortable, very cute, functional, and I feel like you could almost wear this like as a tank top maybe. I don't know. I just love all the different colors in it. It's so cute. Okay, so moving on to the specific colors. This was Tropical Storm Monsoon, which is the blue tie-dye colorway. I didn't pick up the matching bra in this because I just was thinking that I don't need it and I have a bunch of other colors and things that can match it. The purple color that is mixed in with the blue and the white. It's just so pretty. The one downside is this splotch here, which is just right on the crotch. <sighs> That's my only little piece of disappointment with this pair. I don't think it's noticeable enough for me to return them. I did order the bikers of this to see which I like better and I'm just gonna keep whichever one I like better. I do wanna show you guys three pieces that you can pair with this tie-dye if you do decide to get the tie-dye bottoms and not the top. This is the light support bra from Paragon and this is in the flex form fabric. It just came out recently in like celestial blue. That would look really cute just with the tie-dye as a solid navy, like it's not even navy, it's just like a really pretty blue top, but it matches this like almost perfectly. This is the Synergy top from Balance a few years ago during the Harmony launch and it just matches so perfectly, so cute. I think this color was sky, um, but it looks really cute together. And then white looks really cute just with the blue tie-dye as well. I like to just show you guys different combos so you don't have to feel like you need to buy the entire set. So before I move on, I wanna show you guys just how cute it looks with just plain white. Looks so good with the white. Also what matches this sea kelp green color, which was from the Whitney Simmons. Gymshark launch and I might try to get the tank top of this color just because I think that the twisty tail doesn't really look good with these because there's just too much going on but um I really like how the neon pairs with this outfit. Okay next let's move on to Avalanche. Avalanche has been one of my favorite colorways since Atmos ever came out two years ago, a year ago. Um, I think it might've been two years ago, that's a while. That's crazy. Okay, so I already had the Riders of Avalanche from last summer and I knew right away when I saw the drop that I wanted to get the matching bra because it's kind of hard Unless you've seen Avalanche in person, it's kind of hard to match things with because it's like a black, but it's almost like a faded. I don't even know if it's blue or black to be honest, but like it's a, it's a black with a blue undertone to it. So I don't think it, it doesn't directly match black tops and it doesn't directly match blue tops so like a navy looks better with it than a black to me so anyway i've always had trouble matching tops with it 
white always looked the best, but when they said they were coming out with the matching bra, this is my favorite. It's so freaking cute. And then again, I just got the volley shorts because I wanted to see what the fabric was like and come on, this is just so cute. I love that this one has more white on it in the front than my other one. Um, so I am gonna keep these just because I love Avalanche and I love how these two look together. This is a size medium and you'll see in my try on, um, it just gives a little more coverage here. It's not as compressive. You can still make the straps tighter, but I can do a small or a medium. Avalanche, this is my favorite dye from everything that I got. It's just so pretty so perfect and i think that avalanche is going to have the most consistent dye patterns across all of them i do think the white and avalanche go together but as you can see like the white in here is just a little bit off it has that like swirl of a tint of blue so it doesn't even like completely match and this is just me being super nitpicky but like white definitely matches it the best um but i think the matching set is just Chef's kiss. And Thunderstorm, I showed you guys the two dye patterns that I had from previously and what I got this time. I need to keep them separate so I know which to return. Okay, this is the return one. So when I saw the bra, I was a little disappointed because it has a lot of white on it and I really have been wanting Thunderstorm that has like rich dye all over it and has the black like a lot of black and this one doesn't but when i paired it with my old shorts you can these as you can see have a lot of white throughout and it honestly matches them perfectly i love my old shorts with the new bra so of course with thunderstorm you could match black top you could match a pink top or like a yellow always looks cute. Um, I at least like black with it for some reason if yours does have a lot of black on it. Mine doesn't really. So I've had the biggest inconsistencies with the thunderstorm pattern, but that being said, like I love it so much. So overall, do I think that this collection was worth it? I do. I do think that coming out with the matching bras has been a game changer just because it can be tricky to mix and match different the tie dyes with so many different colors to like one singular top that matches. Um, and I also think that the volley shorts are honestly perfect. I wasn't sure what to think because so many influencers were hyping them up as like the most perfect short and I after having these on for a bit, I just feel really comfortable in them. I love the length on me. They're not too long, they're not too short. They're actually covering my butt and I just really like the small changes to the waist taper, the way that the waistband is sitting on me and the glute contour. Like I think everything that they've changed on it is really nice. And of course, the fabric of these feels so much better than the Atmo shorts from last summer. So. I think this was a huge hit. The only obviously downside that I've mentioned multiple times is the dye patterns and just your luck with the dye patterns. But if you're not picky, then just go for it. There's still stock of the biker shorts on their website. And if you're curious to hear what I think about the new biker short length, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Erica X Timmons and I will update you guys over there. But that is it guys. I am really happy with this order and just with more tie-dye because I guess I needed more tie-dye. Who would have thought? Who would have thought I needed more tie-dye? But if you liked the Atmos leggings from the original, original launch of Atmos, these are it. This is the fabric, this is it. You will love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful for you, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Erica X Timmons subscribe we hit a thousand subscribers thank you guys so so much i love making these videos for you guys and that is it i will see you guys in my next video i will see you guys in my next video